With more and more people turning to streaming services on over the top platforms to watch movies and dramas instead of going to the cinema or zapping through conventional TV channels, streaming services are constantly releasing new content. In our Culture Issue segment today, we will introduce the latest and upcoming series on such OTT platforms and delve into the trend of sequels and spin offs. For that, we are joined by culture critic Professor Ji Hye Won at Kyung University's Arts and Culture. Cultural Management Program. Welcome, Professor Ji. Hello. Good afternoon. So, Professor Ji, let's begin with Hellbound mm -hmm. Season Two. That one has been released on October 25th and has been already a huge hit, uh, being listed fifth on the mm -hmm. Netflix non-English right. series. I checked just before uh, our show; it was still on the fifth place as of this Monday. So, first off, how is the series being assessed? Yeah, Hellbound is a supernatural thriller series, and those kind of series are much has been much loved by the uh, global audiences, including including the OTT platforms like Disney Plus, Netflix, or TV. And the the first season of it, it was has been re released in 2021. So the audiences has been waiting for three years, including the, myself, right for the second <laughs> season. So the the director, the Yeon Sang Ho. Actually, they created the webtoon, so the series is based on the webtoon of the same name. So it's um, it's been as you said at the since it has released on last month. So it has been ranked at 15 for the entire Netflix series and the fifth on the the non-English series. So it's a huge hit. Mm, it is, and I think also here uh, in Korea locally, it is the first one. Right, currently. right, right. Um, so it definitely it is a huge hit. But of course, because season one mm -hmm. was a huge hit. So Professor Z, what are some of the factors that people were hoping to see in the second season, and has that been reflected? Also, what differentiates the second from the first series? Yeah, it's based on the same main characters, but there are several the new characters and new stories. They expanded the stories, so the new season contains six episodes, like the the previous one. They and the stories like the it took the stories like uh, by f ahead by five years, and they gave us the answers to the some of the burning questions like what happened to the main characters like Jung Jin Su or Park Jung Ja. So that was like an open ended at the last season. So they gave us the, some answers about it. But in the second season, we see. The word more the like divided by the more like power groups like Min Hye Jin who mm. played by played by Kim Kim Hyunju and the new truces Hye Jin Liu Hye and Arrowheads of Hwa Sal Chok and of course the government. So the everyone goes after Park Jong Ja. So who has resurrected? So either to keep her safe or use her as a new weapon to terrorize the society. Mm. So especially in this new season, the actor who played Jung Jin Su, the one of the lead character, was replaced by Kim Sung Chul, and he did a really good job. And many audiences was actually surprised to see the special appearance of actress Moon Geun Young right. as a member of Arrowhead and Hatsal Bat Sonsegnim, mm -hmm. actually. And there are actually global fandom of the director Yeon Sang Ho, who created many unique Korean awkward horror films or TV shows including Train to Busan, Peninsula, and Parasite the Grey, and of course Hellbound. Mm -hmm. Really all a big, big names here. Now let's move away from Hellbound to right. Bella. Uh, another very anticipated sequel, the 2019 action comedy drama Yeol Hyol Sajae, which mm -hmm. is the Fury Priest, mm -hmm. right? Uh, season 2 will be released later this week. What can we expect from the season 2 of that? Actually, the Yoro Saje, mm -hmm. Fairy Priest, was one of the mega hit TV uh -huh. series like five years ago. Right. And in the main character, main actor Kim Nam Gye actually received the Best Actor, Best mm. Awards of the Year at the 2019 SBS Drama Awards. Mm. And based on the huge hit, actually, they announced the second one would be followed. But it took five years to come back. Five years. Five years. <laughs> so long. Yeah, so long. So, actually, the the second season finally will be released this weekend, and with the most of the main characters from the previous season, including the priest Kim Hye Il, played by Kim Nam Gil, and the prosecutor Park Kyung Sun, and the detective 
uh, Young, and there are many other new characters, including new villains. So in the new season, we would see the stronger partnership with the main characters and see how they expand the stories with the, the villains and they, how they fight for justice. Interesting. Looking forward to that one mm -hmm. as well. Now, as it is with movies or even books, um, it's easy to attract attention for new dramas if they are follow-ups because mm -hmm. they have the existing fan base already. Uh, but on the other hand, it's also not an easy task to have the same amount of success as the first series. So right. uh, what do you think about this dilemma? Or maybe I should not call it a dilemma, maybe a challenge? Maybe, yeah, maybe challenge or dilemma. Mm. So as you know, there are a lot of contents, a lot of things to watch these days. So it's not, actually, it's not easy to attract the audiences or to keep their attention to it. So if a work becomes popular, the producers or the creators wanted to make another work, other works based on it, and or they expand the stories as a prequels or sequels. And as you say, it's not easy, but it's more, it's kind of a safer way to attract audiences, more audiences in the, like a commercial business. So that's, uh, that's why the many films or TV shows are based on novels or webtoons or web novels or previous work. So that's the things, um, the, a lot of Yeon sang -ho's work uh, work uh, produced as uh, many different diverse platforms like uh, webtoons or TV shows or films. And he's one of the writer director who cre created a lot of work in diverse platforms. Mm. So there are many, many webtoons or, t or web novels produced, but produced, adapted to the TV shows and, and the films. And there are like prequel films or TV shows like Bom Je Doshi, the mm. Roundup. Mm -hmm. It's another successful movie. So actually, they, it, it has been like a fourth series, and it's coming next. I think it's coming released in the next next one next year. Right. And the the famous film Peterang, the I Executioner, that is another good example. So when producing the work based on the existing fandom, it's, it's sometimes not easy to satisfy the, the, their expectations. But it's, on the other hand, it's a safer way to creating the, uh, adapting the pre-verified stories or characters than the creating whole new work. Mm -hmm. That I makes like sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with these seasonal series, uh, streaming platforms are also releasing a lot of spin-offs, right? Right, uh, that those focus on you know, different aspects Mm. characters or details of the primary the premier uh, series but still on the kind of same universe as the original work so professor G what would you say is are some of the recent popular spin-offs that's you know has been released yeah there are some spin-offs recently released mm -hmm. and the there are for instance spice of our love is a short spin-off based on the recent TV and drama, No Gain, No Love, 손해보기 싫어서. It's uh -huh. a very short series with the two episodes. And more recently, um, 동재, the good or the bastard, 좋거나 나쁜 동재 is a Korean name, as a, uh, has been releasing both on TV and TVN, which is a spin-off from a famous mega hit TV drama, Stranger, 비밀의 숲. Mm -hmm. So 동재 is not, was not a lead character on the, at the, at the original series, but it's very, very interesting. And actually people love the character. So the Dongje from through the se season one and two of the original series. So Dongje, the good or the bastards is telling a story from Dongje's point of view. So it's a different point of view. And the tone and theme of it is a little bit different from the original series. So while the stranger are more serious, the Dongje the the good or the bastard is kind of mix of the seriousness or and the sense of humor so and the audiences could enjoy the expanded story with the well-known character but um it's a different point of view so i guess the it's a, it's going to be a good example of the success of the spin-offs all right, and uh, one final question, Professor mm -hmm. Ji. Are spin-offs being produced for the same reason as seasonal series? Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think this trend will continue? Yeah, I guess so. But, but they, 
uh, especially for the OTT, the seasonal series is a kind of their strategy, one of the strategies. So there they just uh, produced the, like a small, small season, like a few episodes and see how the people like it, how the audiences like it. and and before deciding to produce the next one or not. But the spin-offs are a little bit different reason. So they, actually the spin-offs or series are based on the success, success of the original series. That's the same reason. But uh, while the, the series is like expand the story with the same characters and the same actually expand the storylines, but spin-offs has the, the different point of view and different tone and different theme. So people can, the audiences can find more like a diverse enjoyment from the spin-offs. So I, I think it's going to be a, another trend of it, the media contents. And we will have lots to look out for in the rest of the year, probably right. next year as well. So thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the latest OTT trends, Professor Ji. Thank you very much.